welcome back to Farm Sim. Today's video is looking at Maze Plus and big clue in front of me, the uh, the bee harvest add-on. Um, so I've put down both of the factories. I have a separate video on how this works properly, um, but I needed to make some pellets, so uh, doing a quick little bit. So I put some sugar beet and some lime in, and we're getting some beet pulp out, which we will then take over to the pellet press where we make the feed pellets. We also need to take the molasses over. And then we're going to look at how the, um, the bee harvest add-on adds in to Maze Plus. You can feed the pellets to pretty much all of the animals. So they uh, they work quite strangely. And I'll, I'll cover that in a little, a little while. Um, but they uh, you can feed them to the cows can't feed them to the chickens, can feed them to the sheep, can feed them to the pigs, and where's my horse paddock, and you can feed them to the horses. And the way they work, they actually cover the feed bar for themselves and another feed bar, and we'll look at that when we go around each animal type. Um, they're implemented slightly strangely in that they are a fill type and a feed a bit like TMR and which is why I thought it was worth doing a video on and because of the way they're implemented I would personally not touch them in the animal food additions bit and you could easily delete them from the feed bar that won't cause you any problems but I would not try and change how they contribute to the different feed bars we best move the tractor out of the way I'm going to super strengthen the molasses over I can get out of it because this is a video about the uh, how the two mods interact not about um, farming or realistic farming so we've got some beet pulp and some molasses in there and we will get some pellets of super, some pallets of pellets of super feed coming out of here later on um, but I'm gonna get myself a whole bunch of super feed sorted and we'll go around each of the animal pens and see how they interact but before we go in around each of the animal pens, I just jumped into the Animal Food Editions XML, which if you've watched some of my other videos, you will have seen before. Um, for each different animal that takes the super pellets, there is a different defined feed type that super pellets equals. So, for example, for cows, if you feed super pellets to them, 80% of what you feed will go to grass windrow and 20% will go against the super pellets. Um, and then if you go and scroll up and look in cows, you can see that the super pellets go against the uh, clover, alfalfa and brewer grain section. Um, so then if we look at pigs, it's the same. It counts as grass windrow and super feed pellets. Sheep, the same. And horses, the same, actually. Um, the bit that's important, I think, is the fact that you need to define for for a feed mixture, you need to define it for each animal type that is valid for. My own view and talking to the farming agency people, do not mess with this bit. Leave it alone. You will probably break something. Um, if you want to remove super pellets or change which bar they go into, just move them here. Leave the feed mixture alone. My, my own view. Um, all right, let's get in the game and check how they interact with feeding the different animals. So we're down at the cow pen. I have a trailer full of super feed pellets because that was an easy way for me to demonstrate this without having to spend ages making feed pellets and shuttling them around the map. Um, you could, I suspect, if you wanted to set up one of the buy all points to be able to buy these pellets if you wanted to feed them without making them. I guess the other thing that the beet harvest add-on allows you to do is make your own beet pulp. Obviously, I took the beet pulp from the sugar factory and put it in to the feed pellet factory, but you could also use that to do fermented beet pulp uh, rather than having to buy it. So we have our super feed pellets. We have our cows, which currently have 570 litres of grass at the moment. We'll drive forward and we'll see what happens. So if we look, the grass and the clover silage are both going up. Clover silage, grass and the super feed pellets are both going up. 
Uh, it's filled the grass up, so then it will fill up the uh, the super feed pellet bars. So that's cows. Um, I will, uh, in fact, the sheep are over at this farm, so we're going to do some sheep. I can get this tractor out of here without embarrassing myself. Three cows. Never actually played the main farm at Sandy Bay. As I, I'm a complete aside to this video while I drive around. I am considering one more map for my Let's Plays on Farm Sim, as I've got two that are probably close to finishing. And for me, it's a toss up between going back to Sandy Bay and maybe playing this main farm and going to the main farm on Oak Hill, which was, I think, the second map that I ever, second modded map that I ever played in Farm Sim. First one being Sussex Farms, I think, by Alien Jim. Um, I really enjoy Oak Hill as a map. Um, obviously, I have a really long running Let's Play on there. So, into the sheep pen. We have sheep that at the moment only have hay. We should fill up the grass bar and the bottom bar for the beets and carrots. And yep, that's those filled up completely. So if you're feeding your sheep, you can you can feed. Uh, in fact, the, all four animals that can take the pellets, you can feed two of the four bars that you need to fill. So I'm going to make my way over to the horse field. I think next, so I will see you there. But just coming up on the horse pen here, driving around this map has so many good memories for me. It was my second Let's Play series that I did. Got the little tank in there. Um, and so I uh, I had this horse field as a, a clover field and I was just driving past most of the fields that I used to farm on the map. Um, yeah, it definitely has some happy memories on here. Uh, that, that was the series that I then moved on to Chellington. So we've got our, our super feed pallets here. And for horses, we are expecting them to cover the carrot super feed bit and the um, horse silage or grass section. So I'm using the standard as downloaded animal food editions the definition of animal feed. Someone's left a man to in the way. Can you tell this is the safe game that I've been using to do all of my uh, Maze Plus testing videos? Yeah, let's, uh, let's see what happens. The horses currently just have a tiny bit of grass and hay. And then if we drive up to the feed trigger. We can see that that's filled up the super feed pellets and the grass bit. Now it's quite an interesting way that this has been implemented. I, uh, it's not what I expected. I would have expected them to just do a be like a food pellet and you put them in one bar. Um, I don't think you can use them in something like a TMR mix. I'm trying to remember where the pig farm is now. I think it's just, that's just up there. Um, I don't think you can put a food mixture in another food mixture. Um, I'm going to check that and I might add an overlay on the edit. Um, I'll ask the. Uh, I should have gone down there. It's okay, we can go through here, I think. I'll ask the alien pool whether how that works, whether you can add a food mixture to another food mixture. Now, it's something that I wanted to try anyway because I am. Um, some of the other ones, like the, uh, the original sheep food mix, would be quite curious to try and feed to cows or add to the TMR because that acts as grass and grass silage. So it would be quite a good thing to feed to the cows. If you were short, short of food and looking to buy a, a pre-made food, I'm probably going to end up plowing through a hedge here. But we just need to get up there to the pig farm. Yeah, I didn't think there was a way through here. Oh well, hashtag realism. I'm going to get some pigs up here because I don't actually have any left and we will be back with you shortly.
we're back we have some pigs in the uh, pen now and in this case our super pellets should go against this bottom bar and against the top bar um, so we'll just do a quick demo of that we all know what to expect by now and it's filled up both of those bars so that's super feed pellets with the beet harvest add-on i'll link below to my original video going through the uh how to use the beet harvest add-on i don't use it a lot because if you've got a bga that will take sugar beet you get quite a good price for that and it's quite a complicated process to get not very many pellets out of the uh the feed and maybe but if you could buy the feed pellets cheap that would be a good option um, i think it's another one of those it's a really good mod i'm not dissing the mod um, it's one of those mods that's about a gameplay mechanic and it's a really interesting gameplay mechanic um, and looking at the original mod with how it was proposed with the other things where it leads into biofuel and things like that I think it's going to be really interesting hopefully it will be developed further in FS22 um, in terms of how it works with Maze Plus that's pretty much it um, so you feed the feed pellets obviously you can feed the beet pulp that you get out of the sugar factory straight to a whole bunch of the animals or you can ferment that into beet pulp silage and that can then go into your tmr mix for your cows as well or you can feed it direct to them uh, yeah beet harvest add-on and maize plus animal food additions that's it for now if you enjoyed the video give it a like give me a thumbs up uh, subscribe if you're not already leave me a comment and i will catch you next time